stolen within seconds, yet another vehicle swiped from a local driveway, often never to be seen again. Tonight, CTV News investigates just where some of those cars are ending up, the truly elaborate length thieves will go to. Good evening. Perhaps you've been a victim yourself. A wave of car theft sweeping across Ontario. The numbers are astounding. Criminals using technical tricks to drive away new vehicles as if they own them. Only to re-emerge not down the street or even in our country. In the first installment of a new investigative unit at CTV News, our John Woodward actually tracking down stolen cars. And just wait until you see where this has taken us. John, you've been delving into how widespread this problem is. That's right, Zoraida. CTV News Investigates is dedicated to digging into the stories that you bring to us. And as they mentioned, the number of car thefts is growing rapidly. The vehicles are gone in 90 seconds, and months later, some reappear across the world. We found one more than 9,000 kilometers away. Two thieves walk up to Naveen Lochab's Honda in the middle of a snowstorm in Brampton as his security camera rolls. And within seconds, they're inside. Wait another minute and they're able to turn on the ignition and drive away. They start the car, drive back and just poof, disappear. I'm still uh, in, in a shock. Lochab can't believe how easy it was and when he asked around, how common as well. Within this community, I think uh, I just heard 57 vehicles have been stolen. An epidemic of stolen cars that has police alarmed. Peel police say auto theft is up 63% over last year. In Toronto, up 59%. With over 2,000 cars stolen so far this year in the city. It was scary. I, I honestly never expected it. In Ottawa, Ahmed Abdullah last saw his 2017 Toyota 4Runner on the street in September, before it was gone for good. There was actually five cars taken from that neighborhood that same night. A big problem for the insurance industry as well, who are making big payouts and tracking the cars as best they can. But it still continues to grow, and a lot of that is there's high profits uh, with very little risk associated to this. It's not like uh, criminal ventures such as drug trafficking or, or weapon smuggling. One main route overseas. Here's video from Peel Police Operation High Five, which discovered over 200 stolen vehicles worth over $11 million in shipping containers headed out of Canada's ports. There's an ever-expanding global market uh, around the world uh, for these vehicles to be sold. Overseas, where they can fetch high prices. This 2019 Lexus RX350 sells for about $48,000 today. But in Nigeria, on a used car listing site, it's going for the equivalent of $79,000. An operation so brazen adds for some cars don't mind leaving on some Canadian plates. We teamed up with Nigerian journalists who took a hidden camera to meet one dealer at a lot just outside Lagos, Nigeria. He claims this car was imported legally from the U.S., but the person posing as a buyer asks for the paperwork. He won't share it. Maybe he needs the number to him. No, now the number no one release so now. <laughs> I can't do anything to him. I don't want to release the number at all. But the car itself and photos the dealer publicized have enough identifying marks that we could confirm this forerunner is the same one that was stolen from Abdullah last year. And then I got a call from you actually and you sent me a picture of my car and what blew my mind is how they were so comfortable that they even left the, the plate cover on. This is how comfortable or how, how, how they feel doing it, that they're so reckless, and it just blew my mind. And in that same lot, there's another car with Canadian plates. Abdullah says he's happy to know what happened to his SUV, but it doesn't help him get it back or what was inside it. It was just a great loss because uh, I ended up losing a lot of stuff, more than just the car, because of the value that's in the car of, in terms of my tools, uh, certain belongings that my insurance just wouldn't budge with. As for Lochab, we couldn't find his Honda, but he wants people to take steps to protect their cars so this doesn't happen to them. As for the car manufacturers whose security appears to be so easily defeated, all they would say to us is they're working on it, meaning that if you have a push-button ignition car, it might be time to bring out a solution that protects your key fob. Another solution that's becoming more popular from decades ago is this club. That's what police and insurance representatives say could stop your car from ending up in Nigeria. And tomorrow we'll continue our coverage, taking a look at a big change expected from one police force here in the GTA. I'm John Woodward. Nathan, back to you. All right. Thank you, John. We want to hear from you. If there are stories you want us to look into, here are some ways to reach us. You can call us at 416-384-6397.
Send us an email to investigate at ctv.ca or visit our website for other secure and anonymous options. That's at ctvnewstoronto.ca slash investigates.